Did Ethan do one? I have seen Ethan's in person, to be fair though. I don't know if like... I mean, do you know what? Right, let's got... do... Let's react to Ethan's, even though I've been there. Should I just roast it? I'm like, ew! <laughs> I'm joking, I don't I've think that. Into the house. It may look a little different. It's a very different style to Vix. Like they've they've got very different. Like theirs is quite country, country farmhouse vibes, and Vix is like high end hotel vibes. Like they're very polar opposites. And this one is lived in now. So this one's more lived in than Vix at the time. I think he was only like. They didn't have full furniture and stuff, so it looked a lot more empty. I mean, channel is myself, Bazinga, and you are back at my house. Beforehand, absolutely nothing was done to it, and now there's a few major changes, so come on in. So welcome to the entrance. As you can see, a colour change, a nice bright white, makes it feel a little bit more welcoming. We've got new doors. They remind <laughs> me very much of the... the I love how he's presenting this. Simon House doors. Yeah, these doors are new nice. Doors. I do like That's the doors. exactly what they are. We stay in the stairs as well, so they match everything else. We have new floors. We have gold elements, brushed gold. I do love but a brushed as you go brass. Into the kitchen, you may think not I'm much a gold gal. The kitchen is absolutely lovely oh. already. Pretty much done. I would have we, loved some gold handles the in there. Just a lick of paint. The lighting, I really like this. It gives like barn house vibes. I do like that. My light. tap does things that no other tap does. Oh, you want filtered water? The tap's pretty. I really like gold. Wait, I'm not a silver gal. I'm a gold gal. Tea. You want to boil something? Boiling is he water. like? Is he raving to the water? Wow. Tap upgraded. But yeah, this is a really nice place to be. Love it. So if you guys remember last time I was here, I used Boomin's smart valve feature, and the valuation was. Oh look, we got a little peek That's where the unreal. spot ends. I've made a load of changes. The washroom, the pink room. <laughs> You'll be seeing a lot of pink in here. And that is down to the missus, okay? Washing machine, tumble dryer, She's... pink cupboards, smell it. If you know Stacey Solomon, Stacey Solomon has a pink, well, she used to have a pink washroom, which is what I think Faith said that she got the inspo from. I love Stacey Solomon, so. Fresh washroom. Boom. I'm a fan of that. Welcome to possibly the world's most coziest toilet. Mm. Yes, it is quite narrow. Yes, it is quite small, but we have plans for this toilet. Now, the bathrooms, we put a lot of effort in. It's had a major change from what it was before. It's I massively think the tiles different. And what we've done in here is sort of make it it's bougie, man. It feels nice. I feel like I'm in a hotel in this toilet. It is very hotel vibes, 100%. Hotel vibes, which is very nice for our guests. Now, coming out from the entrance hall in the kitchen, leaving that all behind, we come into this lovely open plan area. What we're thinking so far is going to be a grand sort of dining room. Lovely space. Now, We've knocked it all out, so it's a bit more free-flowing. In like here is mirrors. my office. So in the office, I've got some big plans for it, but I have some bad news Big plans. <laughs> hasn't done anything yet. I haven't done my office yet. <laughs> Con, what's happening, bro? <laughs> We've got all the artwork for it, which is absolutely amazing. But for now, we have a new desk. We have a little bit of a setup, but that is coming soon. The lovely stuff, big old dining room. But then we get to the big boy, the big Jeez. boy. Over here, this is the... I said it already, the pistol resistance. Pistol resistance. I said that in the first video. The sofas <laughs> are in, the L shapes are in, the oh. coffee table's in, the skylight's done, the LEDs are done, the media wall, the fire. Ch that TV is wham. What? You ain't seen a TV. Like it's this actually bit. huge. Look at my TV here in my living room. Boom. Essentially, this was always the main aim is to make this sort of like. A cinema room, but I love my sports, so watching sports on this is like, wow. And then we have the, the segments on each yeah, side that will eventually really cool. house like cool things, maybe like YouTube plaques or, or something Damn. That really good under LED lights. We have eight speakers in the ceiling and we have two subwoofers in each corner. Jesus. The windows, the paintings, the decking out there now. So yeah, this one is literally where I spend most of my time. I love it and the sofas are so comfy. And this was tacky bifold doors in bifolding doors damn he just bifolding doors inside yeah to be fair bifolds aren't really used but inside as you see, all finished nicely now yeah it's There's much no better stair. with it with it being open through. wooden floors the whole way you can't stop them pow that is downstairs i'm in love with it i'm in love with it bum 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 
as we come upstairs, we have the feature wall. It Jeez. is in. Well, you won't know. This is actually tiles. This isn't even just bare brick. Over here, we're having a feature wall with nice stone tiles. There's going to be a big chandelier that comes down here. It takes so long Ew, to order chandeliers. Yeah, chandeliers there. are a nightmare. End of June for a chandelier. It was end of May. Now it's end of June. I'm excited to see what chandelier they pick. With light pending, but we have the glass redone, the stairs redone. And the, the gaps are filled in now on the stairs, which is really ideal because then the dogs can't fall through. That's one thing. And the baby. Is a hazard. Say we end up having children <laughs> or pets. Who knows? Might end up Say we end up having children or pets. Little did you know, Ethan. End up being a little bit of a sticky situation. And guess what? The baby can't fall through. Oh. They can walk around. Oh, yeah. He, I was going to say, he knows at this point. But as we go upstairs to the landing, soft carpets. Such soft carpets. The carpets oh. are really nice. I've touched them for myself. I love these carpets. Some plants, a little bit of greenery, just, you know, spice things up. And then we head into the master bedroom. The soft, soft carpets continue. We have our ensuite over here. We have a, this is a temporary bed because again, furniture takes so long. Furniture We've got does a custom made king size thing coming nice. where like all the plug sockets fit into it. But this is what we're rocking right now. It's very comfy. It is very nice. And another feature wall. I like that wall. We have lights at the top of it. Bow. So eventually these are going to be completely encased so that it just sort of like glows down the wall, which is again, lovely of a night time. It's like really relaxing, really calming. Nice. And it sort of suits like the barn country sort of vibes that we've gone for throughout the rest of the house. Welcome to the ensuite. Now this, the bathrooms, I think a bathroom should be a place of relaxation. It should be <laughs> enjoyable. So for the yeah, ensuite, agreed. we've gone with a white theme, the mirror with the, with the light around it, damn right. The white stones, absolutely amazing. The shower here. Do you know what? I couldn't, I couldn't live with, in this bathroom. And do you know why? Because the amount of times I fall over in a bathroom, because it's a slippery floor, with a wall like that that's textured, I would actually like cut my face open. They're they like. I love. And guess what? I slip over so much, I'd be injured oh, no, severely. Oh wait, is that severely? Is that is that a poo TV? Oh. Oh that's my god. Right. That's a poo TV. <laughs> look at that. Oh. Damn. Look, we can watch Bob's Burgers while it's doing a poo. Why are you falling so often? It's slippery in bathrooms. The radio? Pow. I got it. Amazing. You know, we we just we just got them sprinkles of class in the bathrooms. And one last thing about class. <laughs> that's not what I have to say about a poo TV. In the bedroom, we have very oh, terrace, even is too funny. Amazing. This terrace is sick. We've got an egg chair. We have an egg chair. We have an egg chair. Look at this. Oh. Oh. It's a lovely day. The sun's out. A beer in hand. Watching the trees blow. Watching some birds <laughs> fly. Yeah, no. Just the. Do just love an egg chair. Life. Can't so really go wrong with an egg chair. Bedroom, we have the first bathroom upstairs. Decent sized bathroom, but completely getting ripped out. Uh, the TV here will be staying. We're updating the TV though. Like th this is one for everybody to use. And in this one, we went with black and you can change sort of like the lights on here. So we can either have like a bright white or That's nice. a warm white, which is a lot more enjoyable. Sort of black, you can relax in it. You can then get in the copper tub. Are you hearing me? The copper mm. tub. Which again, Those are such a bitch to clean. Oh my God. TV. They look really cool though. I do like a, that? I do like a metal tub, tub moment. TV. I'm relaxing to They look very levels. bouche. I've got loose women on in the bath. Who would have thought it? I've got loose women on whilst I'm bathing. <laughs> Is that weird? No, of course it's not. I'm just listening to a little bit of a debate. But yeah, lovely bathroom. Probably my favourite. I really like the dark one. So Yeah, I like dark. I think dark's the, my favourite of the, the two bathroom. as well. Then we go down the corridor with the lovely soft carpet to the spare guest bedrooms. I'm gonna take you right first of all. Welcome to this bedroom. We call it the dog poo den. <laughs> Damn, that's right. Dog poo den. Oh, that's Welcome. actually so sad. Brand new carpets laid. Guess what the dog had to do? Oh, that's so sad. Somehow. We have another bedroom. I don't think you bedroom. are, Ethan. This guest room will actually be the best one. We've got the plug sockets over here. So what we're thinking is the bed we have in the bedroom currently will be coming in here and then we'll have a TV over here. So they're getting a the real guest experience when they stay in this room. And they even got treated to a fully done up on suite as well. Damn. So look at this. Exactly the same as my on suite in my master bedroom. You've got in the guest bedroom, the gold sort of touches in here. I do love a gold. Oh, 
like I said All earlier. The bathrooms sort of feel like I'm in a hotel, which I absolutely love. I love the bathrooms feeling like I'm in a hotel because it feels that little bit more bougie. Just a little bit more bougie. You know when you check <laughs> into a lovely hotel and you get in, you put your bag down, you check out all the things, the, the toilet, you're like, oh, lovely. I'm gonna enjoy my time in here. But that is the whole top floor done. Bang, smashed it. <laughs> now, welcome to the outside. A lovely day for it, may I just say. But first thing you might know is new fences. We had all new fences put in down the left side of the property to increase privacy. And now it feels like we do have our own little, just like private section, you know, it's out. It's nice. And then we have the decking. Decking's the decking, sick. Thinking Decking's we done so well. Social space, barbecues in the summer, maybe a little hot tub in the corner. We chose this decking. I say we did, my, my lovely missus who's sunbathing currently, did literally design the whole house. I will say that. A lot of props have to go to her. Chose the colors of the decking, chose how it's going. That furniture, that's all the way down there, will eventually be moved up. To be so when we went, it, this bit was done and this looks sick. So when it's really sunny, you want like, to relax in the sun, but then if you need a bit of shade, you can wind it back was in. A bit of me. Oh, no, a little setup. Then we have the fire pit. Let me stand in the pit. Ethan in a pit. Jeez. But yeah, this is gonna be seating in here as well. Sit around a fire. Lovely vibes, you know, summer evening, summer night vibes. And then over there, we have a lazy spa. Not even a lazy spa, you can swim in it. It's got seven It's huge. Jets. It's, it's huge. For 12 people. Welcome to my hot tub. Welcome to my hot tub. What do you know about 72 jets? Pow! Look at my hot tub. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it. Pow! I love hot tubs. I'm addicted to hot tubs. <laughs> Stepping down from the actual That's deck, him. and we've replaced the grass with AstroTurf just to sort of make it look that little bit more pristine, a little bit cleaner, because we will be hosting. We will be having people out here. We will be enjoying the sun with a couple of I do like a grass, you know, like a real grass, but AstroTurf is so much better mimosa, if you have pets and stuff. But it's... I will show you something, okay? Come down with me. Now, this, guys, this is. You just don't have to worry about it. You don't have to cut it. Like... About, okay? This was a cabbage patch, right? We weren't growing nothing. But guess what we did? We ripped it all up, and you want to know who laid this turf? I laid this turf. I laid this turf. Look at how long it's got. I can't believe it. I literally laid turf. Boom. In. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Now we are outside on the land. As you can see, we have three paddocks put in place. We've gone with a full shebang. When the horses are here, we can rotate fields and keep the land alive. We've upped it for the horses. Even the horses are living a good life. We mm. have eight foot fences over here with hedges in front. So we are blocking out all of the yard behind, which is amazing for the horses. So they don't get spooked. The people that are in the menage can sort of learn to ride nicely. Damn, nice they got a whole ass menage. Here, you do just feel like you are in the country by yourself, which is exactly what we wanted. And yeah, the property I couldn't be more happy with now. I couldn't be happier. Uh, I think the changes we've made uh, have literally made it our dream home because there was a few little things that we needed to change. And now you're out here, you just feel like you're living in your own little country escape. I love it. As you can see, the leaves are on the trees. It's a luscious day. Thank <laughs> you for tuning in. I love it. I love having boom in here. Shout out booming. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and now this, this is lovely. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. But yeah, there you go. That's Ethan's home. Not quite finished, but it's pretty much finished in that video. Pretty much finished. Yeah, him and Vix is like polar opposites. Polar opposites. Ours is a lot more similar to um, like Vix style. But we'll be when it's done. Wait, the amount of 10 then? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Nah. <laughs> That's just asking. Asking for trouble. Asking for trouble. Because it doesn't matter what I think. I might not like it or love it. It doesn't make it good or bad.